Battle of Champions, Sare Santi vs. Saturn Dasha, Saturn Mahadasha or Antar Dasha vs. Sare Swati, who wins the match, which is more worse. That's what we are going to discuss today, ladies and gentlemen. The two most dreaded terms related to Saturn, one is Saturn Dasha and even more dreaded than that in India at least, especially Sare Sati. Now, I have a ton of videos on Saturn, Saturn Dasha and I also have a Sare Sati playlist. So if you want a very, very, very detailed explanation of what Sare Sati is or what Saturn is or what both of them are, then please watch my Saturn playlist and Sare Sati playlist, all right? You can go in my channel and find them. But now, let's assume you have some basic idea about Sare Sati and Saturn and one of them is <laughs> about to arrive in your life this year, next year, in the next three years. I get people telling me, oh, my uh, moon is in Aries. So when Saturn will enter Pisces in uh, the next year, I guess, then, uh, yeah, my Sarasati is going to begin, right? All right, so. What is Sarasati? So wherever your natal moon is in your birth chart, whenever Saturn in dynamic transit is in 12th to it and on top of it and in the next house, which is the second house. So that is what is Sarasati. So two and a half multiplied by three, seven and a half. And Saturn Dasha can come anytime in your life, depending on uh, which is your Janma Nakshatra. Okay. So you will find that very easily in the softwares if you do not know when your Saturn Dasha is coming or if it will come or not. <laughs> you can go to astrosage.com and you can get your free report from there. Okay. Of course, this video is not sponsored by Astrosage. Now, what is the difference between Sare Sati and Saturn Dasha? What is the difference? You, you need to understand the difference. And if you don't understand the difference, you will not know which is more powerful. Now, when I say powerful, I don't mean more difficult. Okay, when I say powerful, I mean which is more potent to make changes in your life. That is what I mean by the word power. Okay, I'm very conscious with the word power. Otherwise, when I say, oh, this is more powerful than that, people think, oh, this is, this is going to be worse. Okay, it's going to be worse than that. Now... Sare Sati is a transit of Saturn and Saturn Dasha is a Dasha. So by default, Dasha is more powerful than transit. Now what do I mean when I say Dasha is more powerful than transit? It means the Dashas actually decide what will happen in your life, contrary to popular belief regarding transits. That transits decide everything. No, transits don't decide everything. Uh, dashas decide. So therefore, the winner of this argument is very no uh, it, it's very clear so in terms of power uh sare sati is less powerful than saturn dasha okay so which means suppose your saturn in your chart using all astrological parameters if he is badly placed then you have a more uh your probability to have a difficult Saturn Dasha for 19 years is higher than compared to the fact if you have a bad Saturn or a bad moon and you get Sarasati. Okay. And this is also obvious because Sarasati is only seven and a half years and Saturn Dasha is 19 years. But now the question was not which is more powerful. So if you talk of power and impact, the answer is Saturn Dasha. There's no doubt on it. But if you uh, want to know which will be more worse, okay, <laughs> so then you, uh, you, you need to know a couple of things here or maybe even more than a couple of things. So first of all, you have Sare Sati for seven and a half years. If uh, within Sare Sati, so your Sare Sati has started, let's say you, and within those seven and a half years, you are running Saturn Mahadasha. Or you are, your Saturn Mahadasha is already going on and within that you are in your Sarasati period. And adding to that, if your Saturn and your moon both are very badly placed in your chart, 
then within that Saturn Mahadasha, your Sare Sating period will be much more difficult. Okay. Now, if your Saturn Mahadasha is not running, but your Saturn Mahadasha, your Saturn Antar Dasha is coming. So, for example, you are in some Mahadasha, random Mahadasha, you are in your Sun Mahadasha for six years, and in between Sare Sati starts. And after one or two years or after three years of your Sade Sati, your Saturn Antar Dasha comes within Sun. So Sun Saturn comes. Okay. <coughs> then that one year, Sun Saturn is uh, yeah, roughly about a year. So then that period will give you more Saturnian challenges. Because now as per transit and Dasha, both the energies of Saturn are on you. Now what you need to understand is that depending on two things, how is your Saturn and how is your moon, it will be decided which is more worse. Okay. So, what do I mean by this? Now, when I say Saturn, I don't just mean something very simple like, you know, oh, my Saturn is exalted. So, my Saturn Dasha will be good. Good and bad for which area of life? So, for example, if Saturn is in your 10th house, in your birth chart, whichever sign he is placed, then during Saturn Dasha, you can have growth in your profession. But because he is 12th to the 11th house, which is also the house of marriage, so you can have problems in your marriage, in your married life. So therefore, during Saturn Dasha, now you might have advancements in your career and you will surely have some issues in your uh, in your married life. And of course, if the nakshatra adds to this, then this makes things more complicated, which means suppose Saturn is in a particular nakshatra and the lord of that nakshatra is also in the 10th house or in the 6th house, then problems in my life will be more. Okay. So then you know that this from this dasha of Saturn will give me good things in profession and bad things in marriage. So then you need to watch out during this dasha for your marriage. Now, if you take another scenario where your moon is in a bad dignity. So, for example, your moon is placed in the sixth house. Now, your Sarasati is going on, which means, let's assume you are in the second phase of your Sarasati, which means moon has Saturn directly over it. Okay. So, that is the second phase of Sarasati. So, now what is happening is, the sixth house is again a house which is similar to the tenth house in context of marriage and uh, career, which means it is a good house for profession, not a great house, a good house, it gives you job and all this, but uh, it is the 12th to the 7th house of marriage. So then 6th uh, house is equally bad for marriage, uh, just like the 10th house. So then uh, during the second phase of Saresati, you will also face serious problems in your mar marriage. But you may get some job opportunities, okay? So, so in this case, you will see both of them uh, will have similar flavors. So, a Saturn in 10th house during Dasha will give you good professional uh, opportunities and bad marriage. And Moon in the 6th with the second phase of Sarasati, which is directly on top of it, will give you again good things in profession and bad marriage. So, therefore, the answer to this boils down to one thing, which is which dashas will you run, okay? And where is your moon place? So, if your moon is in a very bad house, like, you know, the 6th house, 8th house or the 12th house in your bhava chart, then the the probability that you have a difficult sare sati is also very high. And added to that, if your Saturn in your birth chart is also badly placed, then it's like a competition which is more worse okay but if your saturn is in a good dignity but your moon is in a bad house then it means that during sare sati uh, the, the sare sati period will be worse compared to saturn dasha and the saturn dasha will be relatively better for certain events okay but again if saturn is in 10th and moon is in the 6th then it will have similar flavors for profession and marriage okay but let's say your saturn is in the 10th house and 
your moon is in the 8th house. So then during Saturn Dasha, you will have advancements in profession and problems in marriage. But during Sarasati, because your moon is in the 8th, so when Saturn transits over the moon, the second phase of Sarasati begins, 8th house is bad for both profession and marriage. For marriage, it is like, uh, it, 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 it can be good or bad, but primarily it is not a good house. It is a Dustana house. So, it will give you problems both in your profession and marriage. It can give you conflicts with in-laws or issues like, you know, uh, there could be case for you, case against you for taking dowry or something like that. Or there could be violence from the side of the in-laws or something, you know. Or there could be some fake allegations against you. Okay, so nonetheless, then it is problematic from both the sides. Okay, but since your Saturn is in 10th, Saturn Dasha will give you something good in your profession at least. Okay, so therefore, you, you really have to analyze where is your natal Saturn and where is your natal moon and this is how you will exactly know which will be worse. Okay. But remember, if two things are coinciding, so like for example, your Sarasati begins and somewhere Saturn Dasha is there in between. And then if <coughs> your moon and your Saturn are very badly placed, that will be like one hell of a period which you will remember for the next 100 years because it's like a bad Saturn and a bad moon, bad Sarasati, bad Dasha creating a lot of problems in your life. But... On the other hand also, if you have a good Saturn and a good moon and within Sarasati or Saturn Dasha is coming, Antar or Mahadasha, <coughs> then that Dasha is also something which you will remember, which will be filled with a lot of hard work and difficulties, but there will be true, tremendous growth, exponential growth, okay? So that is how you actually know what, which one of them will be worse, okay? But my only uh, suggestion to anyone who is hearing this, don't put things in black and white, okay? For some people, it may be like this or it may be the other way around. So please look at the overall chart and analyze and don't just see, oh yeah, my Saturn is here, this will happen. My moon is there, Sarasati will be bad. Okay, so please watch my Saturn videos and Sarasati videos and do a comprehensive analysis about your Sarasati and your Saturn Dasha. And only then come to a conclusion. All right. Thank you so much for your patience. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And for consultations, you can always go to my website down in the description section www.exoticastrology.in. God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him and He will help you even if you are in Saturn Dasha or Sarasati. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much.